Hey, Cason, congratulations. Uh, how did this pre-draft process go for you? Did you know the Eagles were interested? Did they have a lot of contact with you? Yeah, so, you know, I had a, I had a decent amount of contact with the Eagles. Obviously, there's a, there's a strong Stanford connection, right, with Zach Ertz, J.J. Arcega-Whiteside, Nate Herbig. So, um, yeah, you know, I met with them at the East-West Shrine game, at the Combine, um, and I had a good feel for, you know, the system, where they saw me, and um, that they were interested. But, I mean, besides that, you know, the pre-draft, uh, pre-draft process is pretty um, – there's a lot of mystery surrounding it, right? So I wasn't exactly sure – you know, who's going to take me if I was going to get taken, things like that. But I'm just, I'm excited for the opportunity now. And you mentioned Zach and Nate and JJ. Uh, does that make it a little bit more comfortable for you to know there's going to be some guys you're familiar with? Absolutely. I mean, I think one of the things about Stanford that's so unique is just that, you know, brotherhood that's just like nowhere else. So just to have those people that, you know, JJ and Nate, I mean, I played with JJ was in my class, one of my good friends. So I'm excited to see him again and uh, excited to learn from Zach. So, you know, just kind of having that foundation built in for when I get there is definitely very comforting. Hey, Casey, for fans that may not have seen you play or know much about you, what kind of player are the Eagles getting? What kind of player are Eagles fans going to see? Sure. I think you're going to get an athletic, versatile player who just will give it his all every play. You know, I want to just come in, I want to work hard, and I just want to be relentless. And I think um, whether or not fans have watched me or not, um, I just want to come in and I want to learn and help the team win in any way possible. Hey, uh, Casey, um, there's some uh, prospect when they get to the seventh round. You know, sometimes they hope that they don't get drafted so they can make their own decisions sometimes, but they know the phone's going to be ringing. Uh, was that the case with you, or were you happy to get drafted? Not at all. I, I was I was stoked to be drafted. Um, you know, I, I love I love the Eagles organization. I love Philly. I just to be drafted in general is such such an honor and um, something I've really worked for my entire life. So it was just uh, the culmination of a lot of hard work. But really, it was just it's really just the beginning of the things you know I want to try to do and accomplish. And yeah, I'm, I'm really really excited for just the opportunity. Casey, uh, you, you said that the Eagles, you have a good sense of what their plan is for you. I think there's some projection as to whether or, or confusion as to whether you're an end or a linebacker. What is the uh, the role that you expect to be playing? Yeah, you know, I, I think I'm really going to do in what I'm told. And I, I mean, I just want to contribute in any way possible. I think I expect to play more end than I would uh, linebacker. But, you know, come in, learn from the older guys, play special teams, contribute in any way I can is really kind of the only thing I'm concerned about. As a follow-up to that, Casey, your uh, time at Stanford, you were a, a stand-up rusher. Is that correct? Uh, so, yes, sir. Yeah, so what's going to be the adjustment to, to being a down rusher and, and, and probably playing in the wide nine formation? Sure. So I guess the one thing to clarify with that is at Stanford, I put my hand in the ground a decent amount as well. So I'm not completely uncomfortable with that at all. But, you know, I think it is playing outside linebacker is a little different from playing D end, different focus, uh, new scheme. So there's all adjustments with that. And just, you know, the speed of the NFL, um, the, the ability level is different than in college. So, you know, that's why, you know, when I come in, it's just it's just first and foremost, just to learn and just to soak up all the information from the older guys and from the coaches and then just, you know, every day work hard. And I think that will put my best foot forward. Casey, what's it going to be like uh, with the spring process? You're not going to be in Philly. Uh, they're going to send you stuff Monday, I guess. Uh, you know, have you thought about that much? And and how do you? I guess everybody's in the same boat, but how do you process that? And how do you make it work for you? Yeah, I mean, I think like like everything going on in this crazy time, the NFL is no different, right? We all have a, a new normal, so. I, you know, going in as a rookie, I'm not exactly sure what to expect with how things will proceed, but, you know, I hope just as soon as I can, I can start to, you know, learn the defense, start to learn special teams uh, and just, you know, have conversations with the coaches and, and whatnot. And then just, you know, keep working hard, staying in shape on my own until I get the opportunity to be in Philly. Jack Driscoll out of Auburn was a, a Campbell Trophy nominated uh, player in Europe were a finalist. Um, to what extent does your academic success plan your on-field success and also what area of community service interests you? 
That's a good question. I think, you know, they're tied. Uh, football is football's a mental game. I mean, people may not think that stereotypically, but there's so many aspects of film study and just attention to detail that I think really carried over to my studies and the preparation. I mean, how I prepare for a football game, it's similar to how I prepared for, you know, tests at Stanford. So there's not, there's not a whole lot of difference there. Uh, in terms of community service, you know, I think homelessness is an, er, uh, an area that's pretty interesting to me. Uh, for the combine, I was able to pair with an organization where um, I had people pledge a certain amount of money to every inch that I vertically leapt uh, for um, a homeless shelter called Hospitality House in the Tenderloin area in San Francisco. And, you know, I, I haven't really specified in my own mind what exactly I want to do to serve uh, the community, maybe in Philadelphia, wherever else. But I think that's just something I look forward to, you know, uh, coming to fruition with um, in the years to come. Casey, um, you played with JJ and Nate, I assume, not Zach, obviously, but have you talked to those guys? Have any of them sent you any texts or any congratulations, that kind of thing? I haven't, I haven't seen anything yet. I heard uh, uh, from my agent because we have, I have the same agent as uh, Zach that he, I think he tweeted something out. I, I'd love to reach out to him. And then I, I think just before I took this call, JJ might have texted me, so I'll have to check that after. But um, yeah, obviously, really, really excited to be around those guys again. They're just really high quality individuals, great players, and just ready to learn from them. Any other questions for Casey before we let him go? That's for me. Is that it? Hope we see you here sometime. <laughs> yeah, me too. Me too. I, I really hope so. Thanks, Thank Casey. You. Congratulations. Yeah. Look forward to seeing you in Philly soon. Great. Thank you so much, guys. Have a good day.